Hello everyone. I uh, start this video with a look at VR because VR is what I've been doing a lot of lately and it was the video that I was going to bring you yesterday. I was going to bring you some VR games that I have been playing but unfortunately the only view of VR I can show you at the moment is this because since updating Windows this is all we can do is look at it because the Oculus software no longer runs. So for a minute we're just going to leave the PC, we're going to nip outside and we'll have a quick chat about it. So I've just come outside for a minute just to take five because oh man sometimes the joys of PC ownership aren't really joys. So last night uh, I was going to start doing, making a video so I really do need to up the content for the channel. And I've been spending a lot of time in VR quite recently, playing a lot of VR games. And just as I was about to start filming, Windows popped up that there was an update. And I have been putting off the 1803 update. To be honest, I've been holding back because I know there have been some blips and issues. But in hindsight, I should have perhaps hung on a little longer. But I thought to myself, it's been a couple of weeks now. Most of the bubbles would hopefully have been ironed out, and I went with the update. Now, apart from a little snag that when I got back into Windows, one of the drives that should have been hidden wasn't, and after using this part, I hid the drive. I thought, to be honest, everything looks pretty okay. I opened a few bits and pieces, a few little apps and that, tried things. Generally, the machine seemed to be running okay. Now... I don't like all the windows, the old folders and all the crap and all that and I decided I was going to get rid of it because from what I could tell the the upgrade was good. Now the first mistake, well not really a mistake, it was my own choice, my own sound judgement at the time but in removing those files if you do run into any problems and you want to roll back your windows installation if you remove them like I did to save this space, you can no longer do that. So pretty much uh, you are warned before you remove those files that you're going to be stuck on this version of Windows if you do that. Now, after all the issues and problems, I went to fire up the Oculus to start recording some of the things I've been doing in VR because obviously not only is it good for racing games, there's also a lot of other little quirky games that I've been quite into and enjoying playing. But that's where my issues started and arose that when I started the Oculus software, immediately it fired up, it looked like it was coming on, and then it uh, caused like a graphical black screen, the resolution gibbed out, the monitor showed that it was gone back to 1080p at 60Hz, and then everything froze for a split second, Oculus software closed, and the computer went back to normal, then Oculus opened again, and we went into a loop. Now, I've had a quick look on the Oculus support forums, and some other forums, and people suggested that there were other issues that have been patched, but sometimes if you get issues like this, reinstall the software, so... Doing a layman's reinstall, just going to add a remove programs, removing the Oculus software and reinstalling, got me the net same results. So it was already game late last night, and I've had endless nights of staying up till God knows when and not solving problems. And I was like, I'm not going to do this, and I went straight to bed. So after getting home today, I thought I'd tackle the problem again. And I've gone in a bit deeper, I've gone into the application data within my profile, removed some of the Oculus files from there. I've also renamed the Oculus uh, library file on one of my drives to a dot back, so it would reinstall that. I've also put the latest uh, ATI drivers on, or AMD drivers for my graphics card. Doing all of this has made absolutely... Not well... As Doing all of this hasn't really made much of a difference and I'm still pretty much in the same situation that the software is crashing. Now, this is at this point in time, if you've ever been here before, I just wanted to offer some small advice 
in that we all jump to uh, forums for support for other people's experiences and knowledge but I have to say although it's fantastic a lot of people do try and help at times like this people do write a lot of bullshit they spout a lot of bullshit and people quite often put ridiculous things up like oh do this to explore delete these files you know stand on one head hold your leg and put your finger up your nose and while you're at it reinstall windows absolutely ludicrous it's like taking a sledgehammer to crack a peanut in half you really don't need to take that approach so the logical thing here to do is to acknowledge there is a clash between the Oculus software and the latest version of Windows. You can't really blame either party, although it is really frustrating and you'd think that with a newer version of Windows coming out, Oculus would test their software on the newer version and highlight any issues, but obviously they're both third parties to each other. And to be honest, with the current Windows model, with its quarterly updates it's a wonder anything works anymore because they're very much in a break fix break fix every time we get a new full whatever creators update they want to call it we get it broken and then they have to fix it so really pc gaming is in this cycle at the moment and windows 10 <laughs> and windows 10 does try and force you to make updates you can defer them for some time but at some point you will have to install them but anyway without going off on a tangent the best thing to do at this point contact oculus support send some error logs into them and let a couple of people do this let them work out what the problem is and between them and the windows sort it out but obviously in the meantime i've got a paperweight and unfortunately in these situations there is nothing you can do. We're not software engineers and at some point we have to admit of installing, reinstalling, messing with files. It's just best let them have a look and try and sort it out. Now Oculus support doesn't fill me with great hope from some of the stuff I've read online. But as this is a new case I won't make any further comments. So... I'm going to keep you updated on this. Hopefully we can get this resolved fairly quickly because I don't want to be without the device. I can't I wouldn't say it's the honeymoon period, but I really have been enjoying the VR experience. I do think it's a game changer and I do think it's the future of games. Um, we're certainly a couple of years away from the real, you know, the real sweet spot, but even so and if it's infancy at the moment still a fantastic bit of kit so as i say i'm going to keep you updated basically that's just an update for today where we're at and why i haven't been able to do the video that i wanted to do i spent the last two nights messing about and i'm not going to do any more messing about we'll just have to see what happens all right thanks for watching this brief but frustrating video and if you've experienced this problem can you let me know in the comments below i'd love to know your thoughts on this Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you pretty soon in the next one.